Living in Montana allows you to see some spectacular scenery and wildlife. And in this video, we're going to take you just east of the mountains to a place called Freeze Out Lake, where every year at this time, we have the migration of the snow geese. And there are thousands and thousands of geese that show up here every year. And it's quite a sight. Make sure you stick around to the very end of this video because we will give you a little fact that you probably aren't aware of you've always wondered about, and now you'll know and be able to teach all your friends. So last week we took a trip over to Freeze Out Lake, Montana, which is located just west of Great Falls in between Shoto and Fairfield. And if you've never been there, it is quite the Quite the spectacle, I would call it one of the seven wonders of Montana. Everybody should do this if you are there. It was about a three hour drive from the Flathead Valley and we took off on Highway 2 heading east and you go right basically along the southern border of Glacier National Park the whole way. So you get spectacular views of the park, especially if it's a nice day. Uh, you're right along the middle fork of the Flathead River and again, the river's the border of Glacier Park, so you're looking across the river and right into the park the, the entire way along Highway 2. Uh, it is very mountainous, and if uh, at the end you go over Marias Pass, uh, which will then bring you down into Browning in the east side of Montana. And I've showed you in separate videos the, the view coming the other direction, but this is actually headed east right now. Um, another thing, this is Marias Pass right here. And another thing you need to be careful of is when you make this drive, always check the weather because this road can get pretty bad if it is uh, during the winter. And you can get some really ugly conditions right around the pass. And it's always kind of windy once you get over. Here we are on the east side of the mountains here, and you can just see it's kind of wide open. You're looking back at the front range of the mountains, and uh, then eventually you'll get down to Shoto, and then just past Shoto, like I said, is this Freeze Out Lake area. And here you're looking at it. it Freeze Out Lake is a large lake, and then there's a bunch of ponds around the lake that they, back in the 50s, they put a bunch of dikes and culverts and they can control the water levels. They built islands, they built habitat for all these birds. And now it's just this huge management area uh, that, that aids in the migration of all these geese. And when we saw the birds, it was in the morning of the second day, we got up early, we checked the website that they have that uh, tells you where they were the day before and how many birds are in the area. And as you can see, there were 27,000 uh, geese there at that day. So these geese had spent the winter in central California and then they head north up to Northern California and Southern Oregon and then they staged there. And then they all in one trip without stopping, they fly from there over to Freeze Out Lake. It's about a 600 mile flight and they do it in 15 to 18 hours and then they stay here for a week or so and then from here they head up to the Arctic. So just like the website said, right at first light all 27,000 geese took off and flew over us. It was pretty cool so check this out.
So we'll leave you with this little fun fact about geese. Did you ever see when the geese are flying up in the sky in the V and all the time one side of the V is longer than the other? Do you know why that is? It's because there are more geese on the longer side of the V. So now you can use that to impress all your friends and neighbors. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information. And don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.